Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 29th April. What a day for the market. ICICI led the charge today, all the bulls were on a rampage. Nifty as an index was up 1%, Bank Nifty 2.25%. All big boys were in green, Reliance was up 0.75%, TCS 1.15%, HDFC 1.25%. ICICI have fantastic results on Saturday up 4.4%, ATL another half percent. It's a shame despite such a good performance, FIAs and DI numbers were so low. No, it does not mean they were not participating today. Their volumes were very high. They bought a lot, they sold a lot. So both institutions are effectively trading. They are buying and selling. In the short term, as the markets go up, no one is losing. But you can guess very well who will lose once the market comes crashing down 5-10%, 20%, whenever that event happens. Today, Kotak also recovered 2% approximately. Cement is having the time of its life, ultra tech, fantastic results. Cement industry increased its capacity significantly before the last recession. Last decade, cement was not going anywhere. Right now, there is a construction boom across the country and cement is really on a high. Surprisingly, steel is not showing so much strength as cement right now. I've talked about my interest in Trent several times. I've not made an investment yet. But the sales of Trent went up 51% in the latest results. Tata Chemicals made one-time adjustment, booked some losses one-time. They posted losses. This is in continuation to Tata Consumer, which again did something similar last week. Tata Group seems to be consolidating their balance sheets right now and getting anything which is not looking good out of the balance sheet. European markets were in a cheerful mood in the day. US also has opened in the green. Tesla is looking really strong right now. Both Nasdaq and S&P have opened in the green. Bitcoin is not finding any patterns right now. The markets are stable in the US. Bitcoin typically goes up when the markets are unstable. Gold in India is hovering around 71, 72 thousand levels. It's been weeks now. In May, there will be gold demand on account of Akshay Tritya. So I expect gold to cross 75,000 in May. Crude is hovering around 7,000, stable around that number. Nifty was in the range of around 250 points today, opened pretty much at the lowest point of the day and closed at the highest point of the day. Just kept getting better and better and better. VIX was up 12%, but for small numbers, percentages do not mean a lot. How are my trades doing? LTTS is the only one which is down 20%. I should have kept a stop loss there because it was a trade, it was not an investment. This is a message for all traders. Please don't mix up investing and trading, which I did in this case. I should have booked the losses when the losses were around 5%. Still at portfolio level, this is the trading portfolio, 25,000 profit. Note that when I show these numbers daily, I'm not booking these profits. So this 25 number has been there for a week now. I've not made any sale in the last 5-6 days. So this is not a daily profit kind of thing. Today I thought of booking the profits, but again the markets were looking green. I thought of chancing one more day. I expect tomorrow also to be a green day. This week, defense stocks seem to be under pressure and profit booking. And banking seem to be the flavor of the week. While all the gurus in the US markets and India markets are cautious, we have been talking about we have been talking about a market crash, correction, a recession but there is no sign of bad news on the horizon right now there are three points i want to make today one is inflation is here to stay don't expect the realistic inflation to cool down i'm not talking about the headline numbers i'm talking about the inflation that hits me and you that's not going to cool down in the near future because us india both have printed a lot of currency so it takes the gdp and the markets years to digest that much of currency printing interest rates also are here to stay interest rates might 25 basis here or there but more or less don't expect a 100 or 200 basis points interest corrections in this year neither in us nor in india it's not gonna happen also if indian companies play their cards well i'm talking about it companies and gear up for the upcoming work which primarily needs cloud ai ml to be bread and butter skills not specialties then there is a lot of work that will get outsourced into India. IT will come under pressure in the US because of the cost part again. But this time the requirements will be different. These will be not Java, Python kind of jobs. These will be specialized jobs. What remains to be seen is whether Indian IT companies will be able to get the prices up because of these skills or these will become commodity skills, commodity pricing as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. How did the sectors do today? Banking was the top performer. Nearly everything was up and up a lot. ICICI 4.7%, State Bank of India another 3%. This was up last week also significantly. Axis Bank 2.5%. Let's check Cement. Ultratech 2.7%, Grasim 2%. What is noticeable is the top three players are nearly at 52 week Y and very far away from their 52 week low, which indicates a lot of run up in this year. Let's check Electrical Utilities. NTPC up 2%. Tata Power up 2.5%, Power up 
power grid half percent adani power 0.75 percent the smaller players were up as well the entire sector was up one percent this is a sector that power india did pretty well today in fact most of these companies are actually near their 52 week highs and very far off from their 52 week lows so this sector is doing very well this year let's check metals and mining all top five players were up and up a lot jsw steel up one percent tata steel one percent zinc 0.6 percent vedanta 2.5 percent investment banking was down a bit let's check what was happening there bsc caused the most pressure today so there was some news about taxation and some of the ret retrospective charges bsc was down 20 percent in the starting of the day then it closed about 14 percent down there is some news about retrospective taxation on bsc they need to they need to pay a lot of money which will bring down the eps by about 20 percent that reflected in one day wipeout of about 15 percent market cap of bsc i don't think this is gonna matter too much to bsc it is a pass-through cost they will increase their charge to us so you and i will pay for the extra money that the government is asking for it is not bsc who will dilute their profit yes for the retrospective part it will take three months or six months but what they will do is if the charges are one percent they'll increase by 1.5 percent nse probably will follow suit your and my cost will go up the interesting part was icici securities up another 4.15 percent just as a disclaimer i am investor in many stocks of this sector how did nifty 50 do when nine of the top 10 big boys are in green the indice does pretty well which happened today also hcl was down six percent bajaj auto was down two and a half percent hdfc life insurance was down two percent apollo was down five percent besides that mostly green bank index except idfc first bank all green next 50 lic down avenue supermarkets down dlf down bel down i mentioned defense stocks came under profit booking today besides that this sector also was mostly green few red towers towards the end but those are relatively smaller in market cap 